What's going on YouTube? My name is Marcus, aka Apostle, and today I'm going to give you 10 tips that'll make you a better Spellbreak player. If you find these tips useful, be sure to like and subscribe for more Spellbreak content, and let me know if you have any questions down below. Anyways, let's get right into it. Your gauntlets are your weapons, and their primary attacks work kind of similarly to rock, paper, scissors. Every gauntlet is projectile based, and if two projectiles collide in the air, sometimes one beats the other. For instance, if a fireball and an ice lance collide, they will both be destroyed and just disappear. But if a wind shear hits a fireball, the wind shear will destroy the fireball and just keep going right straight through it. So it's a good idea to mess around and see what gauntlet beats others. When it comes to winning a fight, what most people think is that you have to hit more shots than your enemy. While this is true, Spellbreak is a little bit more complex. Spellbreak is about dodging attacks just as much as it is about hitting attacks. This is where your runes come in. Your rune gives you extra movement and allows you to dodge attacks while they're in the air. So while you're fighting, be sure to use your rune effectively and get out of the way of the oncoming projectiles. Dash is an especially good rune for dodging attacks. In Spellbreak, the fights can get really, really chaotic, especially with all the different sorceries. So you need to make sure that if a sorcery gets cast on you, like a tornado or a toxic cloud, that you don't shoot while you're inside the sorcery. It doesn't matter if the sorcery is your own or the enemy's, if you shoot inside of a sorcery, it's going to combine with whatever element you shoot and do more damage to you. One of the most common questions that I get while streaming is what class should you play? I pretty much always give the same answer. I say pick a class that sounds fun to you and you think would fit in with your playstyle and how you think you're going to play the game. Every class in Spellbreak is viable, but as of right now, Ice is probably the weakest and Conduit requires the most game knowledge, so I don't really recommend these two, but it might change in future patches, so uh, make sure to check the date on this video because there might be some changes that have happened. Also, just because I say that the Ice class is weak doesn't mean the Gauntlet is weak. As of right now, the Ice Gauntlet is one of the strongest in the game, so just because you're not running the class doesn't mean you can't run the Gauntlet. That's how you end it. So, as I said in the previous tip, Spellbreak is a little bit more complicated when you're fighting than other games. And, as of right now, Spellbreak is exclusively a battle royale, so you spend a lot of time looting and not a lot of time fighting. And especially if you're new, you can just die immediately and the fight will be over and you'll learn nothing. This is probably the biggest tip that I give to people. Use the practice lobby to mess around with different runes and gauntlets and get a feel for them. Each gauntlet kind of serves a different purpose, so Toxic's like a shotgun and Ice is like a sniper. And once you know how things work, get into the pregame lobby, and this is this is the important part. Get into the pregame lobby and fight the entire pregame lobby. If you happen to spawn in the pregame lobby where all the items spawn, you can get in more combat experience in one pregame lobby than you can in a handful of games. Practicing fighting here is really what's going to set you above the newer players and make you get good fast. These big glowing orb things are called mana vaults. When you activate them, it'll start a 20 second timer and make a really loud noise that'll draw in other players. So be careful when you activate them because other players are going to be drawn in, so be ready to fight. But these are the only place that legendary items spawn. There are four types of chests right now. Gauntlet chests, rune chests, item chests, and epic chests. Each type of chest guarantees you one item of that specific loot type when you open it. So if you open a gauntlet chest, you are guaranteed a random gauntlet along with some other items. Epic chests are a bit different because they only drop one item, but that item is guaranteed to be epic. I don't really recommend landing on these because you aren't guaranteed a gauntlet and they're usually in a risky exposed area. What I do recommend is landing on a gauntlet chest near the epic chest, getting an extra gauntlet out of that and some other items, and then pushing the epic chest and killing whoever landed on that if somebody did. Alright, now let's get into the items. Each item has a corresponding attribute. If you pick up an amulet, it's going to increase your mana pool, so you're going to be able to shoot more. If you pick up a belt, it increases the maximum amount of shields that you can take, so it makes you harder to kill. And if you pick up boots, it increases your movement speed. Once you reach the blue rarity, they add extra benefits on top of their already base attributes. For example, a blue belt can give you shield and increase your rune charge by one. This allows you to use your rune twice without having to wait for the cooldown. A huge part of fighting in Spellbreak is managing your mana. Mana kind of works like ammo, so if you go up in gauntlet rarity, it increases the damage of your gauntlet, but it also lowers the mana cost so you can shoot more with better gauntlets. Another thing that consumes a huge amount of your mana is your levitate, so you gotta manage levitating and shooting while you're in a fight. Levitating consumes mana based on a percent. This means you have a fixed amount of time that you can levitate even if you increase your mana pool with an amulet. So you have to be really careful and only use your levitate when it's absolutely necessary. 
There's a lot of different nuanced things in Spellbreak and a lot of different ways to play the game, and one of the best way to learn all these things is watching streamers. As of right now, Spellbreak is a really small community and everybody's kind of dedicated to helping new players get into the game. So be sure to hop in some live streams and ask some questions, everybody should be happy to help. Personally, I play with viewers occasionally and am more likely to join up with you if you're new and trying to learn, so feel free to hop in and ask to join up with me or just ask a question if you have one. I stream every day and you can find that link in the description below this video. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. Once again, my name is Marcus, aka Apostle, and I'll see you guys next time.